Check it, check it, check it. Welcome to Street Flames crew today, I guess. Some YSL numbers are standing tall. Yeah, Let's check it out. Record for purposes of, uh, of posterities, but she's ready to do that this time, okay? We're ready, Michael. Right. Ready, Your Honor? Yes, ma'am. Go right ahead. Your Honor, as it relates to Mr. Tinquarius Mender, Mr. Mender is charged with count one of the indictment, conspiracy to violate the Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act, which carries a sentence of five to 20 years. He's also charged with count 44 of the indictment, which is possession of a weapon by, by an incarcerated individual, which carries a sentence of one to five years. Count 45, possession of a telecommunication device by an incarcerated individual, which carries a sentence of one to five years. And last, count 46, which is participation in criminal street gang activity, which carries a sentence of five to 20 years. Um, Mr. Mender is an ANC recidivist. The state did file a recidivist notice on December 9th of this year. Um, if Mr. Mender was found guilty of all the counts in the indictment, he'd be looking at a maximum exposure of 50 years to serve in prison. And now, could you explain the difference, I think, for Ms. I'm sure that Ms. Fagan has probably explained that to his her client. But can you tell Mr. for the benefit of the record and for Mr. Mender's benefit, what potentially may happen if he were to be convicted of any of these particular counts? Like what would, uh, under A or C? Yes, um, if he's um, convicted of any of the counts, um, as an ANC recidivist, Mr. Mender, you would have to get the maximum amount on um, for that charge. And then whatever time the court gives you, which if it was to be the maximum, you have to spend every day door to door. He which means no, you have to spend every day in custody. He had no good time. No. It's, it's a to the door sentence. Yes, he would get any credit for a time served. Of but, course, yeah. Absolutely. But anything else would be um, a full sentence door to door. Um, so his max is 50 years? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, and what's the state's offer? Yes, Your Honor. The state's um, offer for Mr. Mender as to count one is 16 years to serve one year, committed to time served, with a balance of 15 years on probation. Um, the state would offer that his probation could be terminated upon successful completion of the first 10 years of this sentence, provided that he violated no provisions of the agreement or no special conditions of the agreement, and that he violates no law of the state of Georgia. As to count 44, the state's recommendation is five years to serve one year, commute to time served, with a balance um, to be served on probation, concurrent with count one. As to count 45, it would be five years to serve one year, commute to time served in confinement, I mean, excuse me, commute to time served, followed by four years on probation, concurrent with counts one and 44, and count 46 would be 16 years to serve one year, commute to time served, followed by 15 years on probation, concurrent with count one, 44, and 45. Um, would be the offer. Uh, Mr. Mender also is currently on another indictment, 21SC178250. In this case, um, as a part of the as a part of the agreement, would run concurrent with that case when, whenever he resolved that other case, Your Honor. Is that before me or before another division? It is in this division currently, Your Honor. And that's being handled by um, ADA Lauren Jansen with the state. Does he have bond on that case ending in 250? I don't believe he has a bond on that case. No, he's he a no, not. He has a no bond status. But on this case, he would. He, it's potentially he could go home today. Correct. If he was given a bond, he would. Okay. This case, he would not have served any jail time on this All right. case. Okay. And that offer will also conclude today, Your Honor. All right. Ms. Fagan, have you communicated that to your client um, in terms of the, is that the, to correctly summarize the plea agreement or the potential plea offer, I should say? The only change was that he wasn't aware of the concurrent status for the second case. At this time, though, he still maintains a not guilty plea. Sure. 
respectfully requests, um, rejects the offer, and we announce ready for trial. Okay, Mr. Mender, I'll tell you and I'll tell Mr. Beebe and Mr. Stevens the same thing, okay? At this point, you have the absolute right to plead not guilty, and that's what the law will presume, and the court will, um, of course, instruct that you have a presumption as a, the presumptions and protections you enjoy as a criminal accused. You have to decide for yourselves what you want to do in this particular case, um, depending upon the results or, or, or the, the outcome of the trial. The only thing I would tell you, um, Mr. Mender, is the, the most, and I'm sure that Ms. Fagan, she is a very fine attorney, seen her work. But trials, there, there's one thing about trials, it's uncertainty. You don't know what's going to happen. So you got to beat four counts. If you don't beat them, what will happen is under this ANC recidivist statute, you, I have to, under the law, sentence you to the maximum sentence. And then whatever I sentence you to, you serve to the de to the door. That's not anything I have any discretion over. It's not anything because I don't like you or because of what you're being charged with or whatever. Those have nothing to do with anything. That's what the state of Georgia, the legislature, has mandated that I sentence you to. So one of the things a plea does is it you know what you're getting. It caps your exposure. So, and what the state's telling you today is if you take the plea today, this is what you're going to get, and this is what I probably sentence you to, and you're done. You've got to decide that for yourself. You can't be worried about any of these other folks that are attached, attached to this indictment because a plea is individual to that particular person for those particular reasons that he or she he or she feels uh, is, is of best interest to them, not anybody else. So if you want a couple minutes out to talk with Ms. Fagan about that, nobody will be the wiser, and uh, certainly. But if you don't wish to do so, that's fine, too. You'll get the fairest trial that the law demands and expects you to get. You will get that. I, as a trial judge, will make sure that that occurs. But one of the things I cannot do is... I can't force the state at the end of trial to pull this recidivist notice. If you get convicted, they can maintain it, and you'll serve every day of it. And Ms. Fagan can ask them to pull it, and they can say no. I can't make them do that. So you've got a lot to think about. So I'll give you a few more minutes to, 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 to ponder that. Because that is, when they follow a recidivist notice, that is, that they, they have basically, in poker terms, they've called. Like, what do you want to do? <clears throat> so, I'll let you think about that, and you can let me know. And if not, then we'll see you next week for trial. Um, Mr. Beebe, where are you? Here, y'all. Judge, we're in a similar situation. We would reject the state's offer as provided on record, Your Honor. However, uh, Mr. Beebe would ask the court if the court would hear a non negotiated plea as to the indictment. I would. If that's the case, Judge, uh, Mr. Beebe would then ask if he does not agree with your honor's sentence, would the court allow him to withdraw the plea of the trial? Um, I need to think about that for just a second, okay? Understood. Just give me a minute, okay? But yes, that's more than fine. Thank you. Mr. Beatty, you got the same kind of, uh, same discussion I had with Mr. Um, with, with Mr. Mender applies to you, but let me just get back with you just a second, okay? Mr. Stevens, where are you? Oh, okay, um, madam, are you still talking to your client? Uh, yes, Your Honor, I'm actually still exchanging text messages with the state. So okay, I'm going to take a couple of minutes out and let you all continue to chat. Thank I'm going to just take a uh, recess, and um, I'll come back in just a minute. The thing about it, that's all I'm going to have to do. I had to certain stipulations. Oh, I got to come to court. No, I mean, they taking it to trial.
It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a hard fight, but gotta respect them. They standing on what they did. Let me know in the comment section what y'all think. I'm out.